Hi, I'm Patrick with Stackstorm, and this is probably preaching the choir, but I want to talk about really why the DevOps movement is so big in the IT industry right now. Um, so, yeah, I mean, like I said, I'm preaching the choir, but it brings the developer closer to the customer. As you can tell, you know, we all love that, right? But the bigger deal with this is that you can write software, but if you don't understand the feedback and you're not in that feedback loop, then you're not going to be able to iterate and improve as fast as you need to. Uh, by getting exposure to those real world use cases, you can understand those pain points and you can fix those things faster, which leads to better customer satisfaction. Pause. Ah. And it makes us faster. Um, I know this sounds vague, but it does. You know, we break down those silos between the groups and it allows us really to interoperate faster and move faster, faster release cycles, uh, faster bug fixes, faster remediation times. There's just a lot about it. And it, it exposes everyone to more information about the environment. And by having that information, you can move a lot faster for your deployments and for your troubleshooting. True cross-organization transparency. That sounds super buzzwordy, but it's really in the classical development and operations silos, those groups are black boxes to each other. Tasks get thrown back and forth over the wall with kind of no thought for ownership going forward. With the transparency into the processes and everything between groups, it really allows us to kind of iterate across that and improve that. We, can, we have better visibility into our different environments and we can make sure that test and development are matching uh, what we have in production. It opens us up to walk in each other's shoes. Through the transparency and communication, we begin to empathize with others within the organization. We better understand those frustrations and those pain points. Uh, and through understanding those pain points, we can start adapting our processes and we can start changing things in order to eliminate those pain points and help streamline everything all along the way. And when we streamline it, it forces us to evaluate or reevaluate those processes that we originally wrote. It's Sometimes we really do need to look at ourselves. We really do need to evaluate the processes that we've put in place. And from an operational perspective, that can be pretty hard. Process, like code, needs to be reviewed, refactored, and occasionally completely rewritten. We need to take that and we need to take those processes and open them up and share them amongst the teams so that they can be peer reviewed. It, DevOps encourages us to be proactive. I mean, honestly, most operations people are very reactive by nature fires and bugs and all that, you know, but we, we need to be mo more proactive. We need to have active monitoring of all of our critical services and even some non-critical or third-party services. We need to automate anything and everything that we can possibly automate. And last but not least, we need to collect, store, and aggregate as much data as we can about absolutely everything. Okay, this is kind of my foo-foo slide that it empowers us to be creative, but I think it really does. Uh, honestly, the cross-team collaboration, communication, and process review will change the way that we solve problems. With shorter cycle times and, and dynamic environments, we really do start to think outside the box. Operations tends to have a way that they look at things, and development tends to have a way that they look at things. When we get the two teams together, people tend to think differently. It makes us more dynamic. Dynamic is good, because we need to be able to move fast. Organizations these days need to be able to move fast. They need to be able to pivot products. They need to be able to respond to customer needs. They need to be able to respond to fires or anything else as fast as they possibly can. Markets change. Everything changes. We need to be able to move fast. Let's be DevOps ninja kitties, as I put it there. Pause. And this is my favorite one here. It's not exactly a big thing with DevOps now, but this is super important, and I think that this is going to help us. We really do need to version control the world. I mean, we, need, we already do it with our code, but we need to version control our process. We need to version control everything we do. By having everything we do as code, we can version control it, we can iterate across it, we can improve it, we can peer review it, we can share it. It's huge. Anyway, thank you very much, and please, hit me up on Twitter.